Some may agree that art is freedom of expression and creativity, and well over 278 pieces of artwork from high school students have been submitted for the 51st Annual Regional High School Art Exhibition. Our reporter, Michelle Reyes, tells more. Educational Service District 123 coordinates the annual exhibition of student art each year. The art exhibit contest is open to high school students where student artists are encouraged to showcase their talents and abilities through different art mediums. And, and for me the best thing about this is art is vitally important in our schools and it's for us and for me personally it's about raising the, the, uh, the importance in our communities and our schools minds that art needs to be part of schools from K, K up. Last night was the award ceremony where 15 students were picked for judge's choice, 10 for superintendent's choice, 10 for honorable mention, and 10 for a Central Washington University scholarship. You know, I'm looking for work that moves me in some way, that's either really well done technically, that is, is, has a good concept behind it, you know, the, the message that's there. Andrea Gomez was among the 10 students who won the Superintendent's Choice Award and tells us that this is her first time competing in the contest. Her piece is called Around the Coin Pond and it took her around two weeks to complete it. Um, it's like watercolor, but instead of using watercolor, we use coffee. The instant coffee, you just mix it with a little bit of water and you paint like watercolor. But it's a bit different because it's actually more sticky. And once it's wet and it dries out, you can't really use it again because, you know, it sort of like loses some of the color. Isabella Pinto competed last year but did not win any awards. This year, she not only won the Judge's Choice Award, but was one of the 10 students who received a scholarship from Central Washington University. Uh, my inspiration is that I've always had trouble um, displaying emotion and just connecting with people overall. And to like display how I felt, I wanted to draw a symbolism of my heart. And also it shows the internal conflict between thinking over feeling and how the critical thinking can sometimes affect the how you feel, which is why there's a lot of mechanics in the heart. Now the students who won the Judge's Choice Award will advance to compete for a spot at the State Superintendent's High School Art Exhibition ran by OSPI. Reporting for Action News, Michelle Reyes. Thanks, Michelle. And the public can view the student art pieces until March 22nd at the Columbia Basin College Geard Center in Pasco.